Welcome back to Global, I'm John Sopel. Now, it was originally something that rich Western kids did, but in recent years it's gained popularity worldwide. We're talking about taking some time off between you finishing school and starting university. In Britain we call it a gap year. In India it's known as a drop year, reflecting perhaps the fact that the jury is still out on its usefulness. Well, it's all been brought to the fore by the tragic story of a British teenager, Henry Miller, who was enjoying a year off between school and university, and he uh, seems to have reacted badly to some uh, drinking a traditional uh, hallucinogenic drink known as Yaga in Colombia. Police said that two men on a motorcycle tried to take him to hospital when he became ill, but he died on the way and they left him at the roadside. Well, whether it's working on conservation projects in exotic locations or volunteering to save animals, there are all sorts of things you can do on a gap year. And with me in the studio is Marcus Watts, Managing Director of Gap Force, and uh, Samuel Carey, who did a gap year and then did another gap year. Um, and so... Uh, Marcus, let me come to you first of all. I mean, every parent has a horror of their kids going onto a gap year and falling in harm's way. Um, what are the risks? There obviously are risks when you go outside your comfort zone, outside the outside of your home market, whether it's in the UK, USA, wherever you are. But I think that's one of the great things about the UK. We've led the way in gap years, and that means not only we were one of the first countries to start doing gap years, um, and but we've now brought in a lot more regulation to, to look to minimise the risk. You're never going to reduce risk totally from international travel, but you can actually look to minimise it. Samuel, what is the use of a gap year? I mean, you know, going away before going to university or whether you know, be pre-university or post-university and even your know, sabbatical during career, it just takes you outside of, outside of the UK to experience other places, other cultures and other societies. Um, and it develops you as a person, you know, so much. Um, and, you know, on, upon reflection, you know, coming back, you can't realise just how much it's changed you as a person. And, you know, always for the better. Um, it's, it's absolutely awesome. See, my daughter took a gap year, and she's at university at the moment. And I kind of, I mean, it was great. I loved it. But I felt that they were just, it was like ants following each other around the same paths around the world, going to the same baths, bars, going to the same hostels, going to, the, and following the same route. Yeah, that's true. There are some people will take the, the kind of a, a certain company's guide and travel around the world. And um, some people want to do something different. And I don't want to do any criticism to your, your wonderful daughter. Um, but what we find is, is that there's a growth in more structured organisations because they can then take them to unusual places, places that would be more risky if you travelled independently. But if you go with a, a leader and you grow with a, a group together, you can go that one step further. So rather than following the well-trodden route, take that one step further to explore. Samuel, where did you go? Uh, I went to Argentina. Uh, I, went to Argen I went to Cordoba, uh, Argentina's second city. I travelled there in September 2012 and uh, stayed there for six months before travelling around a little bit more as well in South America. And did you find yourself ever in a situation where you thought, oh, there's a kind of native custom thing, I'm going to, you know, I mean, you're not anthropologists of the 19th century going to explore places that have never been explored before. It's a well-trodden path, isn't it? That, you know, so when you, did you get offered any kind of drinks or potions that you should take? Not, not particularly, no. I mean, there are certain traditions that you can read up on before you go there. And also, you know, I stayed with the host family whilst I was there as well. So it wasn't, you know, being totally isolated by yourself uh, and not really knowing what's going on. You know, they always explain certain traditions, certain customs as well. So whether it be sort of, you know, being fed, you know, the lining of a cow's stomach um, or during their traditional tea, um, it's always something, you know, slightly interesting. You know, you're always you know, inclined to try it, but there's always that element as well that, you know, am I okay to do this? And, you know, it's, um, it's up to you to make the decision whether you want to go on to do that or not. Um, but, you know, there are so many opportunities out there, so many things you can do, uh, so many things you can try that, uh, you know, it's nine times out of ten years you're going to make the right choice. Marcus, is, has the gap year become big industry? I mean, you've got your own company, presumably, yeah. just organising gap years. Yes, Gap Force organises a whole range of programmes. And then within the Year Out Group, which is the Brit Britain's kind of regulatory authority for gap years, we have around... Well, last year we had 48,000 participants within our members. Um, there's around about 110,000 British students that delay going to university. So they get their university place, they contact the university, and they delay their university entrance for a year. And so it gives them a great opportunity to see the world, gain some maturity, gain some confidence, which a lot of employers are also looking for nowadays. As people have similar grades, they want people to stand out, to be individual. So you're not just and a wastrel who can't focus and therefore, you know, you just 
perpetual student. Not at all, not at all. That's the great thing about a gap year. Um, as we've heard, it gives you that confidence and maturity. And Samuel, in a word, no regrets about having done your gap year? Not. No, the best thing ever, honestly. Fantastic, OK. Both of you, thank you very much indeed. And of course, the lesson of what we've been discussing is you also take care and look after yourself when you're on that gap year.